This is a video on how to check if your radiator slash cooling fan is working or not on a 2007 Honda Accord. Um, or if one's working and one isn't, here's how to find out uh, and diagnose it. So the first thing you want to do is come to the driver's side. Open up the door, come to the bottom, and then you have a little panel right here. If you just pull straight back, it'll come right off. And then uh, right here to tell you um, what fuse goes to what. So just go ahead and uh, check all your fuses. Make sure none of them are blown. Uh, I already did, so I know all of mine are good to go. Put that slides right back on, just like that. And we're gonna go to the front now. So the next thing you wanna check is right up here on the driver's side. Pop this uh, little case up and then right here to tell you what fuses are what. All right, so the cooling fan is right there and it looks like it's a 20 amp so we'll put that down and then looks like the location is right here let's check that out hold it up to the sun that is not look blown could look better right there let's see if we we'll put it down let's see if we can get a better angle all right so there you see it's not blown all right, so we know that it's not that. Put that back in there. So that means it's actually our fan itself. So in order to test these, you disconnect your fan at first, which is what I did, but I actually have another fan that we're gonna work on um, because this fan is the new fan I got from the junkyard. And the fan we're gonna test on is right there. Once I get this clip on. So there's a clip on the passenger side and then there's a clip on the driver's side. So make sure you unclip both of those and we're gonna go ahead and test this uh, bad fan, which I already know it's bad. All right, so all you need is this wire. First thing you wanna do is uh, wrap it around your uh, positive right here. Doesn't have to be nothing fancy, just so it doesn't move. And then wrap the other one around the, uh, uh, what is that, the negative. Sorry, I'm having some brain farts here. So, doesn't have to be nothing fancy, just so it doesn't come off. Like mine's doing right now, so. Positive, negative. And then all you gotta do is take the other side and we're just touching those two prongs in there. Stick one on one side. Sorry. Stick one on one side. And then the other one. Just... See? So we know that this one works. So you stick one on one side and watch this. I'm gonna touch it now to the prong. See? So we know that that one works. And let's try the other one now. I'm gonna flip it around, hold on. All right, so I flipped it around. Now we're gonna test this side. So I'm gonna stick it right in there. Sorry. We're gonna test this side and we're gonna go ahead and stick it right. See, one on one side of the prong. Doesn't really matter where, and then we're gonna see that one's in there. Now we're gonna touch this side. See, touching, nothing's happening. See, I don't know if you can see in there. So this one's on this side, that one's on that side, and nothing. See, touching it, nothing. So we know that this side is broken. Um, so if it spins, you know it's uh, not your fan. If it doesn't spin, you know it's your fan. 
Um, if it doesn't spin and everything else checks out, you might have a short in the wire. But my issue was uh, the fan was broken. So I have a video on how to replace that. Uh, check it out. So that's how to uh, get down to the issue if it is your fan or if it's your relay or a blown fuse. Hope this helps.